I don't know why this kind of hurts my eye. What's that about? Why does it hurt? Ow. Oh my god, I'm, I'm having like a burning sensation. Oh. oh, what the fuck? That's ever happened to me in my life. Oh my god, ow. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Lee, if it's your first time here. Today I have a Glossier Play review for you. I have my entire bag of Glossier goodies. Um, if you guys have been watching my videos, you guys do know that I am a big fan of Glossier products. Um, Boy Brow is something I use in like almost every video. It's like my holy grail of all products. Um, I also use the stretch concealer on the day to day as my base. And um, I do use this, but not as much as like I do like the Glossier um, stretch concealer and the uh, the brow gels just because I don't know I just have a lot of blush and I guess I just kind of push this aside but this is a very good blush so um I'm just gonna start with the base products from just a regular Glossier line because I kind of want to keep it brand uh, what is it I kind of want to keep it brand I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna get started. Um, the only thing I don't think I have in Glossier is like a primer, so I'm just gonna go in with this Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer because I have a little mini size of this and I'm still trying it out. I don't have any real like um, thoughts yet, except for I don't like the smell and like it's kind of sticky. But I just want to see if it'll. Um, make this Glossier Stretch Concealer last longer because although I like um, the Glossier Stretch Concealer as my base, it doesn't last very long because it's like really emollient. So I feel like putting this to the test with the Glossier Stretch Concealer will make me have a better idea about how this um, performs. My brush. Yeah, so I feel like trying this out. Trying this out with the stretch concealer will really help uh, me decide if the gripping part of this primer is accurate because I don't really feel like the hydration part is accurate. I feel like it's more sticky than anything. So yeah, I just put two pumps of that and letting that sit for a minute. Okay. I guess I'll just go into my eye makeup then. Um, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte shape tape concealer and just use that as a base. I just realized I don't have a mirror. I just bought the playground of things from Glossier Play just because um, it was just like a better value and I wasn't sure which items I were gonna like I were gonna I was gonna like. So I just wanted to get like like one of everything just to see what I'd like. You know? And then I'm gonna uh, go in with the Glossier Stress Concealer. I'm almost through with this. I probably have to order like a new one soon. And they have new shades available, if you don't know. And I probably will pick up more like boy brows because that's like my holy grail eyebrow product. And it's gonna... I don't have a bronzer in this line, so I'm just gonna go over quickly with the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks and Mocha. I, this is like probably one of my favorite like cream sticks. It's a cream to powder, so it's not like like it's not hard to what? It's a cream to powder product so it lasts really long and it's really easy to blend out I feel like for me and I know people complain that this is hard to blend out but for me it's really easy to blend out as long as I 
blend out with like a duo fiber brush instead of a beauty blender like the, the beauty blender takes way too freaking long and i don't really like using beauty blenders beauty blenders day to day anyway and i feel like because it's not so creamy it stays where i want it to stay instead of like you know sometimes cream products can like move around and all end up like not where you want it to when you blend this one is pretty like matte so it just blends out really nicely and stays where you want it to stay and um i feel like another reason why it's easy for me to blend this out is because i do usually wear pretty like emollient bases unlike most people i feel like they wear like natural or you know matte bases so it might like make get harder but for me i find like over like stretch concealer and like other stuff or foundations i have it's pretty easy to blend out and the color is really nice too i was really surprised when i saw rihanna use this on herself like as a contour i was like kind of felt like it was like too light for her and then it made me confused i'm like is this too dark for me but i just feel like it blends in so nicely See how quick and easy that was. And I'm just gonna blend the nose really quick. Just initially blending. Now I'm gonna go in with the uh, cloud paint in the color Dusk. I love this. It's a really pretty nude color for your cheeks. Day two. I just have one eye done just because um, if things look a little different to you right now it's because it is different it's the next day um, literally the eye was like <laughs> my eye makeup was so bad yesterday that I like really got annoyed and just kind of like took everything off and left because I ended up being late because of this um, but I think I've kind of done the look I like better so I'm gonna try and recreate it on my other eye. The base is the same as the day before. My eyebrows, Glossier, face makeup, Glossier, skin concealer, and then the, uh, I mean, skin concealer, the stretch concealer, and then the cloud paint blush in, uh, what is this called? In, um, in dusk. So, um, I'm just gonna show you how I did the other eye, put some mascara on, come back and talk to you about how I feel about all the things I tried on. So let's just jump right into it and get to the other eye, okay? First I have here um, the Color Slide in Early Girl. This is just like the teal eyeliner. So that's what my left eye is looking like. I'm just gonna continue to my right eye. Um grabbing this eyeliner and look at how much I sharpened it already like <laughs> to get this really to be sharp uh, it's really hard and I've used so much of it already it's just it's really bothering me but that's not really the point I'm just going to draw a line So that's what my left eye is looking like. I'm just gonna continue to my right eye. <sighs> um, grabbing this eyeliner and look at how much I sharpened it already. Like, <laughs> to get this really to be sharp, uh, it's really hard. And I've used so much of it already, it's just, it's really bothering me. But. That's not really the point. I'm just going to draw a line. Cross my lid, bringing it into my inner corner. I'm just doing a little point there.
and then I'm gonna wing this out. And then I'm just going to draw a line right where my crease is. I'm going to just look, um, actually right above where my crease is. I'm just going to look down for a second. So that's how the outline's looking so far. It's fine or whatever. Mm, I'm just gonna go in with some concealer to clean that line up a little bit. And then pat it down with a little flat brush. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab the acid glitter. This, this shit burns my eyes, honestly. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna grab this little silicone brush and just fill in the little gap right there between my bottom liner and my little top outline of my crease. The glitter gelée, glitter gelée, and the color. How does this color? Bijou, bijou. And then I'm gonna put the glitter in the middle. The Pat McGrath Supernatural Lip Liner, and then um, just low—I mean, just line my lips. I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Play Lip Final. Uh, oh no, it's called. Vinyl Lick Lip in the color Pony. I have used this before yesterday just because I was, um, I, I, I don't know why, I just kept pushing through the whole entire look even though I hated it. So, um, yeah, I knew I wouldn't like this color as like an everyday because it's a very dark taupe. And I wish it was a color lighter. I like the formula a lot, but color is just not something I know I personally would reach for on a day to day. Like. I like more light nudes if I'm reaching for a nude, but this is also the only like nude color that they had, and every other color I knew wouldn't go with this eyeliner color. So, yeah. I really like this formula. It's like really 
smooth and nice feeling. It doesn't feel like a sticky gloss, like as the name suggests, like vinyl, I feel like sounds really like sticky and gross, but it's actually more, to me it feels like one of those like glossy stains that like stay a little bit tacky, but they're actually smoother than that too, so really liking those. And even though I thought I was going to originally clean up the underneath the eye, I kind of like how it's like kind of sparse and messy down there. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and put some mascara on and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts and the final look of how everything's looking. I don't know how, but I almost forgot to put highlighter on, so I'm just going to go and ahead and do that. I have the color here in Pale Pearl. It looks like this. It's really pretty. You just twist off the top and um, it comes with a little applicator. It was really hard to open yesterday, but um, it's not after the first time. So it comes with a little sponge tip applicator and you can just dot it on. And this is the final look. I think it's pretty clear like what I'm gonna say. I hate most of the products. Uh, I like the. I'll just start with the positives first. I like the Night Shine Highlighter Concentrate in the color Pale Pearl. I like this. I can see myself using this. Um, do I think it was like? Do I think it's like so spectacular it's worth like buying the whole playground kit? No. It's pretty. It's just, I have a lot of pretty cream highlights so this one to me is just, it's pretty and it's fine. Like I like it. Like that's what, this it's kind of like what I expected from it. Like I wish it had like a slightly warmer undertone but it's fine. I like it. I'll continue to use it. Okay. Uh, trying to record this but I'm failing this is my third time filming the ending so here are my thoughts um, I just put my hair up in a ponytail because I recorded the ending and I look like a total complete frizzball so here is my forehead or my 35 head for your viewing pleasure um, here are my thoughts oh, wait another disclaimer of my lips colors everywhere it's just because I had a Beyond Burger from Carl's Jr and that got a little messy but anyway okay so so for the things I like Feel some like a hair. So for the things I like, I like the Vinyl Lick Lip Glossier Play Pony High Shine Lacquer. This is nice because I like the formula. I knew I wouldn't like the color too much going into it because it was described as a dark taupe, and I tend to not go for dark taupes for my day to day. If I'm going for a nude, I go for like a lighter nude. And I'm so sorry, there's something on my lip that's driving me crazy. Yeah, so I just tend to not like darker taupey colors, ten like, a, and I tend to not really go for like mauves either. Like, I, if I'm going for a nude, I'm going for like a peachy nude or like a brownie nude. I don't know. I just feel like it suits my skin tone better. But with that being said, I do like this. I don't hate the color of it as much as I thought I would. I just like love this formula. It feels like like a lip oil almost, where it's like like in between a lip oil and a lip gloss. It's not like sticky at all, but it also doesn't have like that dry down feeling that oils can have sometimes. Like if you've ever tried the Lancome G 
juicy shakers, you know, like that oily feeling, it does, and then it dries down and kind of makes your feet, lips feel kind of drier sometimes. This doesn't do that, it's kind of like really moisturizing, so it looks really nice, I think. It wears off really nicely because I had a, gi a giant Beyond Burger and um, it came off obviously, but uh, I was able to reapply it without any like problems because my lips weren't like sticking to it or, or it wasn't drying down really weird. So that I like. If they come out with like better nude colors, I'd probably pick them up. And even some of the red colors I'm kind of interested in, but I just know myself and I know I like would never really grab for those on the day to day. And then we have things I don't like, which is I which I hate to say is a lot of these products. I was really excited about the Playline because it's like more my kind of eye looks. Like my eye looks are tend to be more out there. The skin, I feel like my personal style is more like Glossier, like the original line. I like really like light skin and natural looking skin, but with my eyes, I'm like more adventurous. So um, this, I'm very, very, disappointed by because it burns my eyes. It feels like I'm chemically exfoliating my eyelids, which is not a feeling I've ever had before. I have had like a reaction to one other like glitter kind of formula before, but not to this extent, not to the extent where I felt like I had to wipe it off or my eyelids were gonna like burn off. Um, I did take it off yesterday, but my eyelids were fine. They were a little bit red, but they were fine, so I reapplied it today knowing what I was going into and now that it's completely dried down I don't have that feeling anymore but putting it on it just feels like rubbing alcohol or something or like glycolic acid just burning my eyelids so I think that's a really big drawback for me and I won't probably think to reach for this and other than that I just don't really like the big chunks of glitter I think it likes like I get the fun idea part of it like I understand you know but I think it kind of looks like craft glitter like you could have just put craft glitter if it burns your eyelids you know um so yeah i don't really know how safe these are for your eyes i don't like the feeling and i i don't know what i was expecting from these i wasn't really that excited for these anyways and then i was just kind of like hoping i would somehow love it because that's kind of how i felt about glossier before like the original one i wasn't sure if i was gonna really like anything and then i ended up so loving so many things so i was kind of like optimistic for this line even though this didn't really like really call to me that much when I saw like these swatches and everything but yeah I think this just was a really big letdown for me and I probably won't reach for this ever um the next thing I want to talk about is the color slide play lip I mean liner eyeliner in the color early girl I love this color, I hate the formula, it tugs, it's so waxy, and it's just so chalky. I sent like a picture of it to my friend and that's what they said, they called it chalky because it just literally drags on your skin and sticks and it's not smooth. Um, if you were to do anything more detailed than this, I don't think it would come out very good because it just doesn't layer on top of itself very well. It just gathers wherever the pigment collects and it just makes the whole eye look look uneven. Like I don't even think this is like that great of a look, but it was really hard to do just this in my opinion. So I feel like the whole point of having the colored eyeliner is being able to do fun, colorful looks, not just to draw eyeliner, but to like maybe do like detail work or put it in your liner, do whatever you want with it. And I think it really defeats the point if it's such a bad formula that it it makes me really frustrated using this, honestly. Like it just makes me really mad. So I don't think I would purchase any more of these eyeliners, even though col the colors are amazing. It's just so annoying and I don't want to deal with it. So pass on that. Um, besides that, I'm trying to think what other makeup products were there. I think it's just that, right? Yeah, and then besides that, I just got the pencil sharpener because I got the whole playground kit as um, when I purchased it because it was just cheaper that way. 
the pencil sharpener, it's fine. It's a pencil sharpener. I probably wouldn't have purchased it unless it came in the deal. Um, but I guess like for this, it's kind of necessary because it's so hard to sharpen with like a regular sharpener that I use. Like for my lip liners and stuff, it was really hard to try and like sharpen this because it's so like, so stiff. Also, this broke on me the very first time I used it. So just so many things that make me upset. <laughs> but um, uh, the last probably thing I'm trying to look for, oh, is the silicone tip little brush. This also I probably wouldn't have purchased if uh, it didn't come in a deal. But I'm glad I did because I feel like this is the only thing that helped me like really apply that glitter on. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this for anything else really because I don't really have any other jelly products that I like to use. Um, yeah, I think I, I don't really know if I like the gelée like kind of texture for like glitter. I think I would rather just have like a really pressed like microfine glitter rather than, than the gelée texture because it's kind of like, it's hard to apply and then when it moves around it kind of like goes everywhere so yeah I just have to see if I grab for this later on but I don't hate this it, it actually helped me apply stuff today so I'm not mad at it but I think the biggest disappointments were the eyeliner and the gelée like glitter which is like the biggest point of this collection in my opinion but yeah I think that's completely it besides that um uh, I like the concept of Glossier Play, I just don't think these items are properly executed, or at least some of them. Um, also the packaging on this is kind of faulty, like this already isn't pumping correctly for the lip color, so I don't know. <laughs> like I just, I just want them to come out with better products with like more thought into them, like I feel like this was just poorly executed in my opinion. but. Yeah, I think that's those are my final thoughts. I'm sorry I'm being such a negative Nancy today, but those are my real and honest thoughts, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.